And so in that context, then Friedman is saying, that's why we should have floating exchange rates on the Forex markets. And currency should be allowed, you know, just let supply and demand set the exchange rate. And government shouldn't be involved in trying to pick one particular exchange ratio of currencies against each other, just like we don't want them fixing the price of wheat or fixing the price of unskilled labor, or at least putting down, you know, a floor. So that seems pretty straightforward. And yet the context in which Arthur Laffer there is talking about, oh yes, you know, he and others were in favor of fixed exchange rates, whereas Friedman and his group were in favor of floating exchange rates. And in the fateful day of 1971, when Nixon, quote, went off gold, what that effectively meant was he decoupled gold from the U.S. dollar such that the gold price now could just float and just be whatever the market supply and demand said, as opposed to being locked into at the time it was $35 an ounce was the official dollar price of gold. 